use a tool like this to get you that list of who is most active in the groups so you get the list hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you find the most engaged prospects on Facebook because you know you can go on Facebook you can engage you can comment you can do all the all the stuff that the gurus tell you but how do you know who is the most engaged and what's the best way to find those prospects we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right engaged prospect people that are actually on Facebook that are actually trying to that are actually active on there they're actually looking at things on Facebook they're actually engaged now I know Facebook is not supposed to be to build a business it's not supposed to be sell stuff you don't want to be spamming that's not what we're going to be talking about I want you to find to understand how to get the most engaged prospects before we get into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis uh where is it right there cis 439.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen I'll be showing you some pretty cool stuff so go check it out and we'll and we'll let's get right to it so let's get right to it I'm actually going to share my screen right now and you know I've been talking about this process for a while and I usually just leave it till the end to tell you what the best way is but right now I'm going to tell you right away just right now as I share my screen what is the best way it's using software automation using tools to help you find who is the most active now you can see right here I've got a list of thousands of people uh, that are actually active on Facebook some of that are not and there's more down here right I mean the 15,000 is the number I have here in my in my list and the thing is that if you go to Facebook and just take actions on Facebook you can actually you know you can figure this out you can get this list yourself you can have your own spreadsheet you can have your own way of doing it and but what is what does it mean to be active right on Facebook right on Facebook it means posting content it means engaging on other people's stuff it means you know putting comments and things and that's really how you can tell whether somebody's active or not if they're actually engaging on Facebook now Facebook obviously has also people that are active in the way that they're scrolling the feed and they're looking at the stuff but they're not reacting to anything they're not commenting on anything and unfortunately those people are not within your reach of influence I guess right because if you're trying to sell a course you're trying to build a business online you're trying to build an audience your number one goal is to get people in front of your stuff so that they start to know you and so they like you and eventually trust you and buy from you right it's all about getting them to know you and trust you and like you and love you and trust you and all that good stuff right you want that and the only way to do that is for them to see your stuff which means you know you have to be creating content you have to be posting stuff on Facebook and you know I'm not and I'm not talking about doing ads I'm not talking about posting ads I'm not talking about creating you know um spending money on Facebook right because you certainly can't do that right but just posting content like you see here in the feed right we see these people these are ads so as you notice I don't know if you've ever noticed this before but whenever you're scrolling the feed whenever you hit an ad you'll see that it doesn't load right away and that's because Facebook wants you to take a minute and look at the ad they want you to they want the ad to show in your face a bit faster than if you're just scroll 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 it stops right it always stops whenever there's an an ad and sometimes on other reasons but you know mostly if there's an ad it'll definitely stop for a second for you to anyways but that's not the point the point is who is active who is posting right I mean, I mean uh, and on the feed you can see who's posting but if you just stay on the feed all the time you're always going to see the same people right that's one of the the curses of using social media and following the social media rules but what if you could get a list of who's mostly active on Facebook right who is it that's active on Facebook who is it that's commenting on other people's stuff who is it that's posting I mean you know when I look at this Linda's post right here 
I can see she's got 279 comments here right obviously this is uh people that are that like her that engage with her content right so that's one thing but what about how do you know you know that the people that are engaging on Linda's stuff here is in your target market right you don't really know they're they they're in her target market or at least there may be their people that know but you want people that are in your target market that's where groups come in so in groups you go to the groups that are that your target market is in right I mean that's something that's taught you heard this before leaders teach that leaders talk about going into groups leaders talk about creating content leaders talk about engaging but who do you engage with who should you be engaging with because one of the things that leaders tell you is go to the groups and engage on those posts because the groups is where your target market is in and if you engage on posts in that group you become an expert you become a person that people look up to that has the answers and that kind of stuff that's you know that's possible if you're trying to sell a course on gardening well you're going to go in gardening groups right if you're trying to sell a course on bitcoins you're going to go in crypto groups right if you're trying to sell a course on network marketing on on talking to people on strangers in the street you're going to go into network marketing groups that's just how it is if you're tr you know weight loss uh skin care makeup you know all those different things there's groups for all of that right and the the groups will have people who are interested in that topic otherwise they wouldn't be in that group right but who do you engage with is who is the most act well that's anyways that's my take on it is who is the most active and that's why that's why you use a tool like this to get you that list of who is most active in the groups you get the list from the tool and then you do the work of engaging because you know you don't want to automate you know the engagement or the the commenting and that kind of stuff that doesn't work you don't want to do that but you can automate the fit the, the listing or who is active and this is what this tool lets you do right so what do I mean by that so if I go to groups right let's say I go to groups and I go to a group like ClickFunnels ClickFunnels Avengers this is an affiliate group so if I go to that group and I look at what's in the group right it's posts that has to do with affiliate marketing specifically ClickFunnels affiliate marketing right whoops I'm just going to let it load a little bit more here it's kind of slow to load uh, I don't know if it's loading I'm kind of going scrolling up and down there's only one post on here oh that's because I clicked on a particular post let's just go to discussion sorry <laughs> that's kind of silly so this is the group right so you see the posts in the group that are that are showing these are posts that people post in click funnel Avenger affiliates so that means that these are people who are interested in click funnels and possibly and probably affiliates right so they either want to be affiliates for click funnels or maybe they are affiliates in lots of other things but they're definitely interested in affiliates so if you're looking for affiliates then maybe this is where you would go in and comment and post and do th <coughs> and thing but what you're going to notice here is we have this person here Maraj Paul right <laughs> he posted December 11th and over here we'll notice we have Ebony Brown and we have Lahiru that commented on this post right so those these people are active at least today right they're active today but how do you know if they're this is the first time they posted on well you could click on their name right you can click on their name and it'll take you to the group profile of the person right and you can see right here that this person has not posted anything and by the way I'm not sure how accurate that is because sometimes I see I know from my tool the tool <laughs> the software that I was showing you there I know that there are uh, some some people that my my uh, my tool says are there's a hundred people that a hundred posts and I I go here and I just see the one or none right so I'm not sure I'm just saying I don't know anyways whatever I just know <laughs> that <laughs> that if I go through the group I might see po anyways that's sorry that's not the point the point is this is the profile of the user but the group profile so you got to go here view main profile to go see this person's profile to see if they're actually active on Facebook if they're posting regularly on Facebook right I can see right here if I look through here I can see that December 18th she posted a reel another one on the 17th another one on the 16th uh 16th again so she's posting regularly she's posting reels regularly on Facebook right so she's active uh, on Facebook right so that would to me would mean this is a person that's active on Facebook so if I go back to the group 
you can see other people's posts and you might see some that are posting only one thing or maybe it's here's Mar Marianne Hamasher here so she uh she's so happy oh I guess she must be a moderator because this looks like a, <clears throat> a welcome but let's go down here and see if somebody's posted something this one has a lot of comments on this so let's take a look at this one and go to his and he's got a couple post-its he's got a, a few posts one two three four so I'm actually curious if I go find this person here in my tool uh, let's go find him in my tool here see what we get when I do a search for that name let's see if we, we don't even get it so I'm not really sure why that is um oh there's a space I think that's why there we go yes so you can see right here that it says that there's six Facebook posts and no comments that's not also what I was expecting um I guess anyways that's life there's always going to be issues but still this is maybe it's because they're old December 11th December 10th and December 10th so these are three posts oh, that's probably why because they're recent posts so there's four posts this person has posted four things but has not commented anything there's no comments there's only posts right so let's go and look at somebody else if I look at for example some of these comments right let's look at John Retcher here and let's look at no posts so there's no posts let's just go see this name I'm just kind of curious because I kind of want to see because this is one of the things you can do with this tool is go find this so John Retcher here there's two of them I don't know what the difference is this is John Retcher Jonathan Retcher I guess he might have changed his or maybe he has more than one profile but this tells us that this person has and I have not visited their profile but I can go here and I can go to their main profile and I can see it right here right so we're saying that he's posted something on the 12th the pin post the 11th the 9th so he's relatively active right They're, these are not posts from like two years ago because sometimes you'll find people that are posting stuff that are just not active at least not in the last six months the last year or whatever right they're they're just they're just not doing anything um so let's see let's go back let's go back now so the secret anyways the secret that I want to talk about obviously is using software to automate things right to to get uh, the list of the users that are active and now what do you do with that list of active users right you just go and engage on their posts and just build no like trust with them because they see your posts because you engage on their stuff eventually they see your stuff they'll see your notifications they'll see so you build a no like trust with these people because they're seeing your stuff now as you can see I have different uh this is this column here's temperature this is what I've done I can even go back up here and I can go into reports and I can see the activities that I've done on these on these people right in the last month last quarter last year this year this week last week how many presented how many I trialed how many purchased you know that kind of stuff I can kind of see this this little uh, report here and the you know the the best way to do things is to always have a tool to help you with your time because you could be wasting your time in the feed here I can be wasting all my time in the feed I can be going through this you know I could I could probably comment on this post from Paul right I could actually comment on this post and you know you could probably comment on some of these comments like reply to some of these comments but in all honesty if you're doing that regularly you might be seen as a you know a, a scammer or somebody who's who's bugging people right because these are comments that are not they're not questions posts are you certainly can reply to posts that's what they're there for but starting to engage on people's comments it's kind of you know kind of fishy right that's why you want to go to Ebony Brown's profile and engage on her post in her profile because that's why she posted right she posted that in her profile because she wants people to engage with it right you can go to Carlos's uh, profile too right I can go to Carlos's uh, go to his main profile right here and I can go in here and I can engage on some of these some of these posts right and when I do that like say for example think like a customer I'm just going to say that absolutely absolutely we always should 
this right and now I've got a comment on here and I can actually go find Carlos in my in my tool let's just go find Carlos because normally I would click from the tool to go to his profile I'm not the way I'm doing it right now because that's a lot easier right if I go in here and I search for Carlos and I got Carlos is that the one which one was it maybe he's not even in my list Carlos Blake he should have been because I'm I'm not sure why they're not showing up because I am and I am scraping this group maybe this group is there's I haven't been scraping it for a while because the way the tool works is that you tell it the groups to go to see if I show you the tool right here it's pretty simple you just install it and then after that you configure it to you tell it which groups to go to so maybe my affiliate isn't um, my uh, what's it called my uh, click funnels avengers affiliate is not in my list anymore that might be why I know I have click funnels avengers here so I'm not sure is that the group click funnels avengers I'm not sure if that's the group we were in a second ago yeah it is that group okay well I'm not really sure what's going on but anyways that's the point is that you tell it to go find a series of of you tell it to go through a series of groups and it'll find a certain number of posts it doesn't find all the posts because that would be that would be too much it would cause Facebook to not like you right because it uses your it'll ha it has to use your account because it's you that's um going to the groups instead of you you know clicking the group and clicking all the posts and taking note of the names and putting them in the spreadsheet and all this stuff the tool does that for you it just goes to the group it scrolls through the the post here it sees this post it takes Paul's name here and oh and I know why because the way that it sorts the the post in the group is not necessarily the same as what we're seeing right now so maybe this Paul the see this November 14th right so maybe this post here wasn't picked up that's why the names don't necessarily match so the point is that the tool goes to the group it scrolls through the group it finds the post and then it takes it takes note of Paul's name it goes to his profile to check if he's active or not and then it also takes all the names of all the people that commented well not all there's a certain number there's a maximum there's you know rules and all that stuff but it takes some of these and it adds them to your list and then you end up with this list like this right a list like this now like I said there's 15,000 here so you know I'm only showing 50 right now so if I just click on this to load up some more I can click on this to load up some more <clears throat> obviously you're not going to go and engage on 100 people a day that is also not well first you don't have time right it takes a few minutes per person but what's really cool about the tool is that it'll tell you which who you visited yesterday so you know let's not bother these people today again let's go to somebody who maybe I haven't visited in in five days or six days or something right if I keep going down the list here I'll find people that have not visited in longer than a certain amount of time now you can also choose to list the people based on their name based on their the number of visits based on their number of posts based on number of comments like see this list over here this these numbers 74 56 100 that column there is then the Facebook comments how many comments did they post in the groups how many posts did they post in the groups so these numbers right here you can sort I, I can say I just want to go visit the people who have posted more than x number of comments right so if I can sort by this <laughs> which by the way is kind of what I do usually uh, I'll I'll do this and then it'll show me the people that have the most comments in other words they're the most active the people that are the most active are more likely to at least be seeing your stuff because they're active if they're not active they're not going to see your stuff right if I see as you can scroll down here actually today we can see that I did not go by that list because you see these little green rows those are the rows that I visited today five hours ago five hours ago oh and by the way I completely forgot it's going to be Christmas pretty soon and this is actually the last episode I'm doing before Christmas and that's why I put some Christmas pictures uh, Christmas gifts up there <laughs> anyways I just thought that would <laughs> be <laughs> be fun to do okay so let's go back to this so you can see the green ones are the ones that I visited in the last 24 hours so that's why they're green if I keep loading some more you can see I didn't visit the ones that are the most active necessarily I just randomly chose I guess I'm not really sure what I use to to list them but as you can see if I load more there's not that many that are the top commenters necessarily 
but the thing is that that's your choice you choose how you engage on them right you can see all these all these one that say none in you then none yet that's because I have not even visited Joe Hub's account I have not visited James Peter here I've not visited Simon these are all people that are potentially new you know fresh prospects for me that you know if if I engage with them for a little bit they they might start to see my stuff and might be interested in my whatever courses whatever products I'm selling or anything like that right so that's kind of how that works and it's just like any other process with sales it's all about exposures getting people to see your stuff getting people to engage on your stuff you engaging on their stuff so they see you so they start to like you because you're doing things for them right and all that and you know obviously you have to be uh, you know in have integrity right don't do it to take advantage of people or anything like that that's that's awful right what what you want to be doing is you want to be building you know an audience you want to be building you know like trust you want to be growing that in your uh in your space in your whatever your target market is right you want to be growing that obviously if you're trying to take advantage of people well you know it's not going to work it doesn't matter what you do if you try to take advantage of people eventually to catch up to you sure you can probably win some but that's definitely not why I built this tool uh this is really for people who you know what well it's you know you got to be honest that's all I'm saying all right so be honest do the right thing don't don't scam people and use this the tools and the processes for good right what you have to offer is not it, it has to have value has to be something that people want right why would they want it what is it going to give them all that good stuff you I'm sure you followed some training right that talks about your having the right message having the right offer having the right audience having an avatar all these things they're super important but no matter what you need to be engaging on people you need to be finding people you need to, and one of the things is getting leads right attraction marketing for getting leads or you take it into your own hands which right now most leaders tell you just go to the feed go to the news feed go engage on the news feed just you know don't worry about anything else it'll eventually happen and that's probably true but it'll take a lot longer than if you take control and also because you're going to be wasting time on on people that aren't even in your target market because that's just you know you'll see random stuff right whereas if you take control and you take control and you use a list and you control who you go see and you take charge of knowing that you did visit them yesterday the day before then you can always make sure that you're going to the right new people every single day right and that's what this tool is all about it's getting you to take oh take control of this by the way you can get this at activegroupusers.com uh, let me just put the link right here I think I have it AGU there's an AGU link someplace there you go you can get this at activegroupusers.com and then you know that's basically the the where you're gonna go it'll take you to this page when you go there <coughs> and uh, this page kind of gives you a little overview of the tool how to use it a little bit of what I did right now and also you it just kind of tells you what you need to do to get your account set up and um there's also well I'm doing a workshop too which kind of shows this whole process and there's there's a there's a free 90 day use of the software right now if you get the software you're going to get 14 day 14 days free use right so right now you get 14 days you go to activegroupusers.com and set up an account create an account start using it you're going to get 14 days of free use uh with three groups you can put three groups in the tool that's it right which is you know probably good for a trial to get to understand how to use it and everything else or you can go to the workshop and get um uh, 90 days right now I'm giving away 90 days not 14 but 90 days of it right and that would be at workshop.jsgagnon.com so if you go to workshop.jsgagnon.com you can register for the next workshop or maybe watch the replay depends because right now it's holidays and everything so there won't be too many until the new year uh, but you can get the replay as well and you might be able to take advantage of some special deals that we have but yeah so you know I I did lots of lots of trainings on how to use active users and how to find them and doing all this 
without the tool to just explain the process what the tool does what the software does but I've decided in this episode as you saw when I first started right away started talking about this this tool that gives you the the list of users and <laughs> that you can use to access their profile directly right because all you got to do is you load the tool up and let it run and then after that you click on the view data and it lets you access the data that you have and then you just tell it I just want to go visit let's say I want to visit this this person this is a new person here I'm not sure I don't think I've ever visited them you click their their name and then you go to their Facebook profile <laughs> and then you engage on some of their posts so uh let's see let's just engage on one of these maybe do a comment on some of them so turn the Sean daily live couple of not so obvious ways to miss on your purpose in a way to this god so I'm not really sure I'd have to probably listen to the videos let's do a there's that's not him I'm just trying to find a post that I can just comment on without watching the video because right now I that's what I would normally do but I can just say Santa Habibi and I guess that must be Santa in 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 uh, Indian or I'm not sure what the nationality this is I'm sorry Sean if, if I got it wrong um but anyways there's all video so normally what I would do is I would engage on something I would make a comment and then I then I close the tab and then I go back to his and I would just say right here how many posts I commented on engage on right now I'm just going to click it and it shows that I visited them today right right here the other thing you'll notice is great big red box shows you the number of visits which basically is you going to their profile this is the visit to them right to their profile this is how many I did today yesterday the day before the day before that it kind of shows me keeps lets me keep track of how many visits I did so you can choose to do 10 a day 20 a day whatever you choose but it takes about probably a minute or two per person so if I do 20 like me it takes me about half an hour to do my 20 a day right and that's it that's all the time I spend on Facebook other than maybe going back a few times a few minutes here and there to check notifications and reply to comments or at least engage on comments right uh but that's basically you know what I do right I just you click on Brian for now here and it pops up his his uh info and then I click on his profile his link again takes me to his profile that's how I access Brian Fennell in this case right so for example he's got a post on the world cup here let's just say oh I'm just gonna that's awesome I'm just gonna say woohoo whatever right then I can say that I comment on one of his posts and I close this and I go back down here and say one post and one post that I reacted on that I commented on that's kind of what you do there right uh so let's get that link out of there all right so that's you know that's one of the things you get this tool and you and you in this case you get a list of who is active like I mean who wouldn't want that list who wouldn't want to have a list of who to engage on on Facebook without having to worry about you know f clicking through groups and clicking through posts and clicking through their profile and going to their page this takes you straight to their profile so you can engage on their post and it lets you keep track of who it is you engage on and who you need to engage on next and that's such a time saver and I've got lots of people telling me that as well and uh hopefully you'll be one of them all right so let me know if you have any questions and always like I said you can go to the workshop you can go to the website and we'll see you on the inside this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time